Hey everyone, Chris here from the Client Engineering Team. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough on setting up Kind authentication on a React app. And I'm going to use one of Kind's starter kits. So we'll get the, the React app bootstrap for us with the necessary code that will do the authentication functionality. So yeah, let's dive in. So I'm going to go to the React starter kit. So all of the starter kits are on GitHub. So let's check out the React starter kit and I'll just go through the readme. Hopefully at the end, we'll have that app set up um, with the ability to sign in and sign up via kind. All right. So the first step is we need an account on kind. Okay, so I already have my own personal account, but setting up a new one, super easy process. So the next step is to set up your local environment. Okay, so we've got to clone this repo and install the dependencies. Okay, so I'll grab the clone URL, go to my code editor in the terminal and I'll go to my projects and I'll do a get clone here. Cool. Okay, so we've got that down onto our machine now. All right, so you can see all of the files on the right there. And we're ready to look at what's next in the readme. Okay, so I need to install the dependencies. NPM I, that will pull down all of the NPM modules that this app needs to run. So you can see we've got the no modules folder there. So we're done with that step. And now we've got to make a copy of .m sample, name it simply m. Okay, so that's a very common thing to do in setting up new apps. So we'll rename .m. And then we've got these four environment variables. Okay, so let's see what we need to populate. So client ID and domain. And we have to go to the kind app, settings, applications, front end page. Okay. So I'll sign into my kind account. settings applications front-end app okay so we need client ID and domain so I'll copy domain populate and get the ID save that file okay so we've got our dot M set up so the next step is set your callback and logout URLs. Okay, so this is directing a user to kind when they want to authenticate, whether it's sign in or sign up. And then once they have authenticated, to tell kind to go back to our own app. Okay, so we need to go, oh, it's on the same page. And there's two fields, allowed callback URLs and allowed logout redirect URLs. And they both need the same value of localhost 3000. So that's just representing our local dev environment, the local host that is. Once your app is all set up and you have your proper URL, which you'll deploy to, then that's the, the URL you'll be putting in there. So I'll put put that in both of those fields, save that. Okay, so start your app. So run npm start in the terminal, navigate to localhost. Okay, so get the terminal, npm start. Okay. 
All right, cool. So you can see we've got a very basic template here. Um, the, the task for you would be to, you know, add the functionality, brand the app, make it your own, and then hopefully it will appear seamless that you're actually authenticating with kind. So let's try to create a new user because this is a brand new app. So we'll do a sign up. So yeah, you can see we're on kind now. If you look at the domain there, this is just the name I've given to my kind instance, Stella, or my business. Um, and kind lets you customize your authentication pages, which I'll cover in another video. So what we could do here is we'll set up a new user. So I'm gonna just set up my daughter, Jordan Pierce, and I will just use this, just for throwaway emails. All right, so I'll put this email in. Sign up. Okay, so we need the security code. through nope oh there it is all right so yeah this is an email from kind giving us the security code to confirm our identity okay cool so it signed us up and then as per those redirect urls it's it's gone back to our app and you can see that we it's also signed us in as well so the user's name is up there and we're in the authenticated state. So yeah, let's, let's try signing in now. So I'll do that email again. Jordan Pierce, sign in, get my code. Cool. All right, so that all worked great. So let's have a look at the README. So view users in kind. If you navigate to the users page in kind, you will see your newly registered users there. So let's go and have a look at my users section. And yep, you can see the user that I created that we signed up and then signed in with, Jordan Pierce. So you can see how easy that was just to get a React app, you know, the shell of an app up and running with authentication set up already just by changing, you know, an end file and a few settings in the kind app, you know, all, all that can be done in a matter of minutes. So yeah, super seamless and um, hope you found that useful and I will see you for the next one. Okay, cheers, see ya.